Hey guys, I'm Dan. So today we'll take a look at our entire collection of reptiles, okay? So we have a book of reptiles right here. And these are basically my full collection of reptiles. So let's begin, okay? So the first one right here is actually a caiman. Caiman is basically quite a small little crocodile. And this one is actually a 2019 Safari LTD figure. We got this recently. It's our one and only caiman in our collection. All right, next up, we have a snake right here. And this is actually a boa constrictor 2017 figure. Quite an old figure. I mean, if you ask me, it's about six years ago. Beautiful, our one and only boa constrictor. So all the snakes will go into the right box. And this one is actually a very nice one from um, Zuru. So it is an electronic figure. You can on this and it will move. I think many of you guys have seen this before, so I won't demonstrate it again. Okay, let's have a look at this little book right here. So this little book actually contains four minifigures. We have a Komodo dragon, okay, which is my favorite reptile. We also have um, a crocodile. It's not an alligator because you can clearly tell. The snot is very triangular. We have a Gila monster right here. Beautiful figure. And a snake. Not too sure what kind of snake this is. We'll have a look at, at it later on, okay? Okay, gonna put this book right here. And this is actually a fruit neck lizard. Beautiful one. If you turn this on, you can actually run, which is quite cool. I'm gonna put this into the left box. And here we have a lizard. A very beautiful lizard. And you can see this one actually turns pretty fast. Because the the batteries are actually brand new. So Komodo Dragons right here, very beautiful one. This one is actually from Safari LTD. It's a very, very old figure, 1997. Wow, very, very, very old. So it's about um, 26 years old. Uh, we have a couple of um, turtles right here. Okay, turtles. So the turtles will go into this box with the snake, okay? So these are basically leatherback sea turtles. We have one from Papo. One from Collecte and one from Safari LTD. So these are basically the big three, the very famous brands. So we're gonna put them into the right box. Okay, let's have a look at this little booklet right here, okay? So, yep, we have some snakes, some turtles, um, and this is actually a chameleon, okay? Turtles right here. Let's try to read one fact about this fruit neck lizard the fruit the fruit lizard spots a white kid which un uncurls in a response to threats surprising and stylish i think we should have the fruit neck lizard right over here so check this out really beautiful one okay where is uh, the page yeah i have to go back to the page in jazz now i beg your pardon so right here guys Yep, beautiful fruit neck lizard. This is actually from Collecte. 2014 figure, nine years old, this figure. Very well detailed, it looks very realistic. If you put this on the floor, I think some people might mistake it as a real one. And this is a white alligator. You can see the snot is very rectangular. And this is a 1997 Safari LTD figure as well. Okay, let's have a look at some snakes. What about this one? looks so realistic yep so this one is actually an amazon tree boa 1995 safari 1996 safari ltd figure very very old figure as well it's 27 years old wow and here we have a bearded dragon it looks very realistic as well it's not 2012 figure yep very nice so let's flip this book and let's see whether we have more facts about different reptiles. Okay, how about this page right here? Um, reptiles on the move. Marine turtles migrate great distances. Studies show that female loggerheads use earth magnetic field to navigate back to the beaches where they hatch when it's time to build a nest of their own. We do have a couple of um, Logger hit sea turtles right there. Okay, this is actually a green sea turtle. All right, beautiful. Okay, 
Let's see whether we are able to find the loggerhead turtles. Maybe not immediately. We can definitely come back to it later on, okay? Okay, this one could be the one. You know, this is also an uh, adult sea turtle. Let me try to find it. We do have a loggerhead turtle. This is the one. Loggerhead. Loggerhead turtle. 2007. Very old figure as well. Yep. Awesome. I'm gonna put this little book away. Okay, next we have a collared lizard. One of the most beautiful and colorful lizards, you know, out there. You can find different colors on his body: orange, turquoise, black, yellow, and um, it's a 2017 figure. Beautiful. This one is an awesome figure. It's a white crocodile. I think it's from Papo. 2007. It should be a crocodile because you can see the snot is pretty narrow. I think so. Alright, next. A black snake. It's known as a white snake. I have no idea what is the exact... <coughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I don't know what is the exact species name. I think it should be... Um, it should be a cord snake. I'm, I mean, I'm not too sure. And this is a king cobra. Okay, king cobra. Very beautiful. Let's see what else we got. A giant tortoise, I think. Pintar Island tortoise. Beautiful. You can see it has a very long neck. Awesome stuff. And this is a... This is a crested gecko. Let's have a look. Yep, 2022 figure, very new figure. I think this was actually released earlier this year. Yeah, beautiful. All right, and here we have, I think it's a crocodile. It shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a, an alligator, I think. This one is a crocodile as well. From Science and Nature, beautiful figure. And here we have a thorny dragon. Yep, 2018 figure. So this one is actually a false head. So this thorny devil will actually hide its real head below its body to reveal the false head to distract, you know, um, the predators. Komodo dragon. I love Komodo dragons. Let's try to find Komodo. Oh, yes, right here, guys. So Komodo dragon. Wow. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards in the world, growing up to 10 feet long and weighing around 300 pounds. 300 pounds. They live on five neighboring islands in Indonesia, one of which is Komodo Island. I think one of these days I definitely want to go visit Komodo Island, that's for sure. Komodo dragons are cannibalistic. They have been known to eat their offspring or smaller adults. The babies run straight up a tree after they're born and don't come down until they are large enough to defend themselves. Very, very cool. I mean, it's kind of um, terrifying for the younger Komodo dragons because they have to escape from their own parents. Okay? Crabby Komodos. Komodo dragons fight a lot, especially during mating season where males compete quite fiercely over who will have the right to approach a female. Wow. This dragon doesn't breathe fire, but it has venom glands full of toxins and prevent blood clotting and induce shock. So once you're bitten by a Komodo dragon, you are in serious danger. Yeah. So any animal that has been bitten by a Komodo dragon can only await death because the butt is venomous and will definitely suffer from infection. Yeah. This is a um oh dear. Um what is this? I river it's um it's a kind of crocodile I just suddenly can't remember the name. Indian Garrier. Yes Indian Garrier yeah slip off on slip off my mind just now so you can see this crocodile has a very very narrow snout okay this figure i don't think you know it's from any of the um, companies doesn't have a brand name 
And this one is a beautiful one from Safari LTD, a Crocodile 2017 figure. We have two of them. Okay, no, no, these two are the same. These two are the same sculpt, you can see. You know, the sculpt is exactly the same except for the colors. The colors are different. They are bo both the same figure from Safari LTD. Very beautiful. Yep. Alright. Next, we have a huge one. This is an iguana. I think this one looks really realistic. You can actually put this in the garden and it will look like a real one. And let's see. Okay, 2010 figure. Safari LTD. Beautiful. Very, very gorgeous. Okay, let me just try to um, adjust some of the figurines because we have to optimize the space. Next, we have a horn chameleon. Very beautiful one. You can see there's like two horns in front. Okay, this one is a big one. Veiled chameleon. Very beautiful as well. Plenty of colors. Blue, green, light blue, light green, orange. Just a really beautiful one. It has a long and sticky tongue that's able to like, you know, capture insects. Let's see when this was actually made. 2005 figure. Awesome. Next, we have a Sidewinder Rattlesnake. Sidewinder, Sidewinder Snake right here. You can see it has a rattle right here. And it actually moves sideways. This figure is from Safari LTD as well, 2008. Majority of our figures are from Safari LTD. Another one which is the same, Black White Snake. Sea Turtle Baby. Okay, 2005. Okay, let's see. Let's see whether there are more interesting. Black Mamba. Many people consider the Black Mamba to be the worst, deadliest snake. Fortunately, it is quite shy and usually avoids conflict. In the absence of anti venite its bite is fatal within about 20 minutes. Wow, that's very, very scary. Saltwater Crocodile. We do have... Okay, this is an alligator. Um, this is an alligator as well, but this one should be a crocodile. It could be a saltwater crocodile. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest living reptiles in the world. They can grow to be over 20 feet long and weigh over 2,000 pounds. They're excellent swimmers and live for around 70 years. Wow, that's pretty long. This fierce carnivores will consume anything from a monkey to a water buffalo and most things in between, including people. <laughs> yeah. They often hunt by floating just below the surface of water and waiting for prey to come and drink. Yeah, they always ambush, you know, different animals, even like cheetahs, leopards and stuff. With one thrash of their powerful tails, they can leap into the air, sink their teeth into the prey and drag it into the water. Very nice. Another king cobra. So some King Cobras, um, they're able to speed Venom up to, you know, 7 feet away, which is kind of um, cool. So Gila Monster. So this is our one and only Gila Monster figure, okay? So the Gila Monster is a large venomous lizard that lives in North America. It warns predators to stay away by opening its mouth very wide. This is called gaping. Okay, let's see what else we've got. The Gila Monster is named for a place where it was first discovered, the Gila River Basin in Arizona. Gila Monsters are known to enjoy the water, and some Arizona residents have even spotted them in the swimming pools. Cool. Like the close cousins, the Mexican beaded, beaded lizards, Gila Monsters have beautiful bead-like scales. So let's check out the bead-like scales. Yeah tiny little bits on its body. Very, very cute. Okay, and here we have a um, veiled chameleon baby. Super cute and adorable. This one, I have no idea what it is. It seems to be a thorny dragon as well. Fruit neck lizard, we have two of them. 
so this frill will actually open up and it looks very scary it's basically to scare away um, like opponents I mean predators alligator baby right here so alligator babies they have stripes when they are young and the stripes actually you know go away as they grow this is an albino tree python I think let's have a look albino burmese python very beautiful and this it's let's see haunt lizard so the previous one could be a haunt lizard not too sure but you know and what is this let's have a look green anaconda 2014 collective figure quite a nice figure we have a desert tortoise i think Yep, the stripe. We have two of them, if I'm not wrong. There's a tortoise. Beautiful. And this one, it's um, giant tortoise from Schleich. This one should be a giant tortoise as well. And it's from Peppo. Beautiful figure. This is the green snake. Coral snake baby. American alligator. Very, very beautiful figure. This is an alligator. It's actually known as Bernie. Yeah, Bernie is the um, mascot of Safari LTD. King Cobra. This figure is very cool. We can actually bend it upwards. Huge figure. A tiny little ladderback sea turtle. The snake. This is from the book. This is a very beautiful alligator from Safari LTD. Nile crocodile from Collecte. Very beautiful figure. Black headed snake. Okay, let's see whether we have um, any more other pages for us to read. How about this one? For tortoises, like most reptiles, the temperature in the nest determines the gender of the hatchlings. Whatever the gender, giant tortoises can live for well over a century, which is very cool. So they can live up to 100 years old or even 200 years old. 1996 John Tortoise looks very cartoonish, I would say. This is a Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle Baby. 2006 Safari LTD figure. We have a brown snake which is native to Australia. It's from Animals of Australia. It's a brand called Animals of Australia. I mean, uh, it's a series from Science and Nature. Okay. And here we have a corn snake. Very beautiful one. This is a tiny little bearded dragon from PNSO. Oh, sorry, from Weaker. Bearded dragon here as well. Small little snake from Schleich and a red ear slider very nice so this far basically from the book and yeah that's this is it so thanks for watching this guys and hopefully you guys enjoy my reptiles collection and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye